Add on, uh, I try to put up some physical example. Uh, it depends on uh, when we are trying to craft our adjustable market, we always take a look what we have instead of take a look what they have. So I think there are two things that uh, that we are doing uh, already or testing it out is to follow just uh, what Mark said. We are trying to enhance the ODT market instead of rejecting them, but instead of embracing them. However, only embracing them is only an idea which doesn't represent any money, any monetary benefit. But how to get the monetary benefit is that they have a whole bunch of customers following them, and you have to admit this one. So you can actually launch some of our services, obviously, hopefully, are those evolved services to their customer base. Say, for example, uh, not an advertisement whatsoever. Uh, last month, uh, I just launched our very simple service, a prepaid card with WeChat. For their customer in China, when they come into Hong Kong. So if you take a look, how many customer base WeChat has? More than 600 million. If I only take a look at my little tent in Hong Kong, I'm talking about seven to eight million people. No, not every Hong Kong people will buy it, they seem that for me. But however, if I'm cooperating with them, now I enlarge my customer base in a big way. So this is one of the examples, uh, one of the point, one example. Second, more and more I see that we should turn our traditional asset in exchange for long traditional telecom revenue. I try to make some example, cook some example. Say for example, we launch a, uh, a service uh, with a TV station in Hong Kong, with apps and also the content. We bring them not only to Hong Kong, but elsewhere in the world. And I'm not charging, uh, oh, how many how many gig of capacity you use up any, uh, uh, along the line, uh, uh, how many how many IPVPN circuit you, you you have acquired or whatsoever, but instead we cooperate with them and pushing into market as a service. I don't even tell my customer, okay, you use these apps on the mobile and then uh, you have buy five gig per month. Uh, it is two hundred and thirty Hong Kong dollar. No, skip away from that. I'm providing you with a service in which the service level agreement everything. I take care of that. I guarantee the performance. But what you're buying is not a pure telecom service, but instead something that you need, which is, I want to use these apps to take a look at the Hong Kong content every day and live. This is what the customer wants. And behind, we'll fix up the business model with our partner, we'll fix up the revenue speed and everything. I'm selling a service. So this is something more traditional for the traditional carrier because it's more complicated to calculate. In our old model of return of investment, you put in how much money for a submarine cable system, DP3 for 15 years, 20 years, what is the O&M charges, what is the cable landing station charges, and then we craft out, by means of this pricing, I can get this kind of return. No, no one care anymore. They only want to buy a service. So this is the two points. One is the addressable market. It's an opportunity that you can enlarge it. Another one is that join the wagon of selling a service. Make it as granular as possible. Make it as global as possible. And make it as easy as possible. Yeah, Stephen, is that your, uh, your I think I think I'm in 